My name is Kurt Ritter, Mayor of Chatham Township, and uh, we're so pleased to have such a wonderful crowd here this evening for our second annual Out of the Darkness Community Walk here at Cougar Field. We've got well over 300 people. We've raised so far in excess of $60,000, and it's truly amazing not only the community support that's brought out today, but the important issue of talking about suicide and suicide prevention and removing the stigma that's associated with suicide and mental illness. So uh, we're very pleased for everyone to be here today. I'm Mary Ann Petrino Shaw, and I'm um, to walk in memory of my sister Jean Marie Petrino, who passed on November the 10th, 2015. She was seriously ill with um, ulcerative colitis and uh, not getting the medical attention she needed to receive. And um, she was despairing and took her life um, that day, November 10th. Jerry Torres, and I am here today to support suicide prevention and awareness. And we have a team, Madison's Ray of Hope, and this is our second year doing the walk. Um, I do this in in her name, and I will continue to do this because I believe that every step that we take in this direction will hopefully one day eradicate suicide, at least come close, do something to you know, stem the tide of it. Well, all of you know this, but my wife, by the time she was 45, was a uh, double mastectomy survivor, a survivor of mental illness, 18 shock therapy treatments, and today gets up every day with a smile. She's been just great for 12 years. So, you can get well, and she's living proof. And for people with mental illness, hold your head up high. Don't be down about it. There's nothing to be ashamed about it. There's no difference between a kidney disease, heart disease, or cancer, and mental illness. That's what we have to fight. And there was a young girl, 12 years old, as you all know, here in this county, who committed suicide not too long ago. And nowadays in our country, the second leading ca uh, killer of children 10 to 14, suicide. Almost inconceivable. So we've got to change attitudes. Change my- I repeat that, the 10th leading cause of death in the United States is suicide. We often think in our country, and obviously any suicide, the taking of one's life is, is unacceptable. We focus on men and women who service in the, in the armed services, a high number of them who take their life, who commit suicide. But we have teams here that I would suspect are here because they've lost a young one, perhaps in high school, and we see a spike in the number of suicides of youngsters in middle school. You're, hearing, you're here tonight to show support for your loved ones, to make sure that we, we, we do away with that spike we're able to talk about mental illness and ways to prevent prevent uh, suicides uh, each and every day in our schools, in our families, and, and where we worship. Thank you very much.